I kind of think back to when I, when I went through college, undergrad, I learned the whole language approach. We talked about whole language in the last episode. Whole language is a philosophy built on the idea that students will absorb how to read if they're surrounded by written language and interesting, compelling literature. It was just an organic way to learn reading. It's probably the best way to describe it in these terms. So now, when I came to Delaware, which was 21 years ago, so I remember my mentor sitting me down and saying, all right, now we need to plan for your small reading groups. That was foreign to me. When Nicholas came to Delaware, for the most part, the state had moved away from whole language reading instruction toward what is often called balanced reading instruction. Balanced reading still has a lot of elements of whole language with the addition of some phonics instruction. It was an explicit phonics instruction. So I was thrown into this without a phonics background trying to get students to read. I struggled as a teacher. What changed for Miklas was a federal program known as Reading First. That's when my eyes opened up and said, wow, this is what was missing for me all of those years. Reading First was a $2 billion program begun under President George W. Bush that provided a great deal of training to teachers in how to teach the early reading skills of phonemic awareness, phonics, and fluency. The full story of Reading First is beyond the scope of this podcast. Suffice it to say that it became mired in controversy and ended after a few years. A national evaluation cast doubt on its efficacy, but evaluations in some states showed positive results. After reading first, Delaware's fourth grade reading achievement improved as measured by the National Assessment of Educational Progress. Whether the improvement was because of reading first is impossible to know, but certainly some in Delaware think so. For me, what I liked about reading first was the training my teachers received. The training was just top notch. Like I've seen teachers just grab a basal book and follow how to teach the phonics lesson because that's what's written in the book. This was specific. If your child struggles with this, based on the data, you now do this. It was very systematic. Um, Very, uh, there was no time wasted. Our training was very tight on, you have 20 minutes to get through these skills, boom, boom, boom. These students are already struggling. You don't need to slow them down. They need to be, the process needs to be sped up, which I completely uh, believed in. They need more, they don't need less. Uh, As a principal, I was so impressed, so, the, the school I was in was a struggling school, but under Reading First, you just kept seeing scores rise and rise and rise. And again, they became a blue ribbon school. 